What do you think you're likely top 1% in the world at? I've accidentally ripped three doors completely off their hinges. I'm of the belief most people haven't ever ripped a single door off, and therefore 3MO is likely in the top 1%. Also I'm 18 and potentially have decades of door ripping behavior to increase my rankings. How? How violently are you opening doors? And how weak are the hinges? I'm in the top. 3 of listening to my favorite band and I know that BC Spotify told me I'll mayo. Where did you see this? I'm interested to know how my rankings look lol. It's in your 2020 Spotify rap stats. Getting simultaneous cancers. 5 primer is all diagnosed within 5 months. You should live long and be well. That was 6 years ago. And outside of the CHF I got from Chimo. Things are okay. Thanks. Yay. Excellent. Just a middle school teacher. With no inheritance. Wife is similar. But that puts us in top 1% of worldwide income. Top 1% yep. If you make a middle class US income of around 32 US dollars. 400 puts you at the top 1% of income worldwide. What would the top 1% of the US be? About $530. 000, 000 for the year 2020 https slash slash kitch com slash average median top household income percentile slash I run anywhere between 25 to 35 miles on Saturdays. And I'd like to think that's the top 1%. But I'm not even sure. Question. How do you stay motivated for the remaining 24? 50 miles because that's where I'm struggling. I mean I would feel pretty proud that you can do 5 to 10. 5 miles at a time. Keep up the hard work. I ran 359 in the mile in college. Only about 2000 people have ever done it. So it's actually the top. 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000 to 6% in the world. That's nuts. I ran mile relay and did a 54 second run one time. And damn near collapsed. After getting off the track. I can't imagine nearly keeping that pace for 3 more laps. Now consider the men's 5000 meter world record is 1235. That just over 3403 miles back to back. League of Legends. 0. 82% in ranked. Username checks out. How? You are asking too many questions. Speedruns of Legend of Zelda. Oracle of Seasons for the Gamma Boy Color. This but for Jack and Daxter speedruns also. Zelda speedruns are actually fascinating. What makes them fascinating? I've never watched a speedrun. There's a cool YouTube video with a title like Mario 64 speedrun using multiple dimensions, and it caught my eye. I knew little about speedrunning, and how complex it can be. And while his title is a tad hyperbolic it isn't technically incorrect. It's a fascinating watch, and made me watch more on speedrunning. So here it is. HTTPS slash slash yao 2 b slash what j1 b vob n0. It's about till assisted speed runs mostly, where you basically make a program to do the run or to help you with it to get insane in human speed runs accomplished. But it's definitely a good place to catch internet in my opinion. I'm actually in the top 011% in height for males in their 30s. So I got that going for me, which sucks. How tall are you? 6 feet 8 inches or 203 centimeters. Wow. It must be hard to find trousers. Incredibly. And decent shoes. Oh man. May 2021 bring you goodwill and the ability to find these things more easily. Waterfalls visited. Most of you could start today and I couldn't visit another one and you'd never reach me. My license plate says waterfall for fuck's sake. I see a new at least every month. Many I've been to during all four seasons. I have pictures. Nice time lapse glassy pictures. Of many during the winter that take all day to reach. Due to roads being not plowed. I was told not to go chasing waterfalls. So I stick to the rivers and the streams that I'm used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. I actually verified this. And I'd fall in the top one of memorizing digits of pi. I used to know 800 digits, but now I just remember the first 200. It's really unnecessary, but it can be fun if you try hard enough. I've got 21, 
and it's enough to know the circumference of the solar system within one atom. So I'm good. Well keep going once you get past 50 it starts getting really fun. Not shaming but that's not a very rational hobby. Get out. Getting all the bad endings to relationships. Lost someone to cancer. Lost someone to having a brain tumor and the surgery changed her personality. Been cheated on. Someone once just disappeared, and I found they were in Belgium. One person I dated was hit by a car and developed memory loss and didn't know who I was. Another person I was going to marry for money, but then her lawyer inherited it all and she left. It's not you. It's me. I'm not attracted to you. I was dead to date you for a year. One gal had a husband and decided to end it with me to keep her relationship with him that I didn't know about. Part of a polyamorous couple who decided they wanted to get married and be monogamous. So many bad endings. Still hopeful of the good one. Holy shit. I've had my heart broken bad. Several times. But I take my hat off to you. That is trauma. I broke a toilet by pooping when I was a kid. I used to hate pooping, so I'd hold it till eventually would poop the baseball. My dad couldn't even fix it with a snake. You could say I pinched an oshita. They dumb bum. True story. But I admit it took me 10 minutes to think of a way to make a joke of it though. Clearly, your family was in need of a poop knife. The poop knife. Oh my gosh I had erased that from my memory until now. I was once the hash one in the world at specifically the Harry Potter spells trivia on this one app. I never could break the top 3 in the normal Harry Potter trivia one. After a while it became a speed game where you just had to know the first word of the answer because you memorized both all of the questions and all of the answers. Pretty fun in my memory though. I'm the best dad my kids have ever had. So far. Op now has to grant all of his children's wishes otherwise he will be reminded of your comment. Starcraft 2nd. I've played the shit out of Starcraft since the game came out decades ago. I even did a speech on it in college. There are people that are wildly better than me at the game. But I guarantee I can beat 99% of the population any day of the week. Same. I have been inactive for years, but reached Grandmaster several times. With about 20k ladder games and countless customs played I guess I'm in the top 1% of hours played too. Funny thing is very few people I know has any idea. I'm in the top 1% of Reddit karma attained. And this is a fact that brings me great shame. Of accounts tracked on karma alb. For total account karma, I'm actually at the 99. 9933rd percentile and off of just comment karma it's the 99 9988th percentile you can check your own rankings here https slash slash www comalb com slash please someone with more karma show up to this thread and relieve me of my emotional burdens of the accumulated mounds of nothingness that are internet points Take my upvote and go treat yourself. Top 1% of the world's population. Or 1% of practitioners? Clearly you are in the top 1% of the world's pedantic people. Top 1% of pedants. Or top 1% pedanticism among the general population. You all would be toast if there was a sleeping competition. You'd be sleeping if there was a toast competition. 1v1 me bro in the toast king. Back in the 2000s I had a 13 minute song I loved, and I remember my iTunes said I listened to it about 400 times. And I'm still not sick of it. But I don't listen to it as frequently anymore. Edit, John Butler Trio, Ocean, HTTPS, slash slash yow to, b slash tidf underscore ibivo. His version in Red Rocks is amazing. Yes, even the 5 minute version that aired on PBS. It's just such a beautiful song, no matter how you cut it. I saw him live in Boston years ago, and it was amazing. Guitar. I'm no rock star, but I figure I'm in the top 1%. Been playing near 3 decades now. I just started, and I'm in my mid-twenties. But I've been at it every day since March. It'll be a long way to go, but I plan to be right there with you in the top 1% in 3 decades time. Keep at it and you will. D just don't forget to take the time to enjoy how good you've become. Peace and love fellow shredder.
technically less than percent. One can bench press over 200 pounds. So I've got that I guess. I trained 4 years now I totally forgot that our strength is not normal. People who just got their Spotify wrapped seeing this post. Yes baby. Woohoo. This is what I've been waiting for. BTW. I'm zero. Five of my favorite band. 005% for 3 days grace which is my favorite but good job. Love seeing people dedicated to music it's good to see people enjoying themselves. Geography trivia. Fight me in the ring. One on one boy their back quote s only enough room in this thread for one geography nerd. Eating untoasted pop tarts. I love pop tarts. My random record in a day is the equivalent of 12. 000 ish calories of untoasted pop tarts. Around 5 of the 12 pack boxes. I was in 7th grade. Brown sugar cinnamon gang. As in you ate like 60 pop tarts in one day. Holy fuck. That's probably more pop tarts than I've eaten in my life. Yeah it was summer camp. And I was growing. Like crazy at the time. Could eat anything and everything. Beekeeping. Not many people think it's fun to go open a beehive and mess around with it. I also specialize in queen rearing. Which is not done by most beekeepers. Thank you. Well I do know I've farmed more sugar cane in Hypixel Skyblock than all but 800 people out of millions who have played realizing that that's probably the highest I'm ranked in anything is kinda depressing now that I think about it. Exaggerating. Ah so your top 10% at exaggerating. 